our good friends at uh, Albuquerque Business First join us every Monday. And with us today is an old friend and a reporter from Albuquerque Business First, Dennis Domzalski. Dennis and I have known each other many years. Good to see you. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, how it you has been? been. I'm doing well. Good to have you. What's your beat over there? The uh, healthcare, banking, education, quite a few things, but mostly healthcare and banking. Healthcare is going to dominate here. Well, I'll it's give you a prediction. Geez, <laughs> it's Thank already. you. Absolutely. I, I was wondering what would, what what would emerge. Yeah, you know, what's, what, what would I cover in healthcare? But I, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of, you just wrote this uh, cover story. That's just, I mean, amazing. So you have to kind of give us a little bit of information about this. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, Dr. Vittorio Cristini's uh, piece that you wrote Well, about. what he did, this guy is a researcher at uh, the University of New Mexico Cancer Center. He comes to New Mexico by way of the MD Anderson School. Prior to that, Rome, University of Minnesota, University of California. Anyway, he got this idea that, we, we're not doing cancer right. Or, you know, we're not looking at it the right way. So basically what he did is he developed a mathematical formula which can predict how much cancer chemotherapy drugs will kill. Mm -hmm. They don't have that right now. Right yeah. now, it's a coin flip. And they don't know until afterwards, after they have all this stuff coursing through your body. So this is a great tool to predict, and he's done it right here. They've got about what they call a 15% error rate. Mm -hmm. And if you consider that right now, it's a coin flip, it's huge. And so what it'll do is they can, they take images of the tumors, they do a few other things, and they can throw in this calculation, uh, this formula, and they can pretty much determine how much cancer the drugs are gonna kill. It's really neat stuff. Uh, they can't do it right now. And it's amazing, it's in our backyard, just here. Yeah, well, uh, one of the great things about this guy is he came here from MD Anderson. I was chatting with him the other weekend. He says, look, one of the good things about it is that MD Anderson, they treat you as a star. They're dra dragging you all over the place, uh -huh. uh, having you do interviews, meet people. He came here about three years ago, and he gets to uh, sort of disappear and think. And so early 2012, now he'd been thinking about this on and off for about 10 years and really intensely the past three years, early 2012, he's in his office down at UNM. Next thing you know, kaboom, it all comes to him. Hmm. He gets his pen, writes it furiously, furiously down yes. on sheets of paper, about eight, nine sheets of paper, and he's got this formula. Hmm. So, uh, really and I love that. Yeah, and I love that. The other thing that this guy has done is when he first started doing this, saying, you know, I think we can use mathematics to look at cancer, he was laughed at. Uh, doctors really? laughed at him. Yeah, here's the key to it. Everybody has thought that cancer is some magical, mysterious thing that defies almost everything that we can do to it. He said, look, I'm a mathematician, I'm a nuclear scientist. It is a physical thing and it has to obey certain laws of physics. Yeah. And that's how he approached it. And they initially laughed at him, but now he's got it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's amazing. A lot of people don't relate health care or an institution like the UNM Cancer Center as a business story. Mm -hmm. They think it's a health story, but it's, it's related and it has business overtones to the community. And this is one of our big deals around town now. Yeah, I mean, the University of New Mexico Cancer Center is huge and more than $100 million worth of grants every year. Plus, the research that they're doing is really uh, top of the line. I mean, they're part of a national chain of research centers of, of schools. Mm -hmm. And the stuff they're doing is, uh, this is not backwater stuff, this is cutting edge stuff. And that eventually can lead to new cancer drugs. Uh, many of which they're hoping to start here and are starting here, meaning companies and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff is really neat. Nanotechnology, attaching drugs to nanoparticles, putting them in your body, directing them directly to the cancer cell, kaboom, it blows up or it goes away. Yeah. yeah. Do you see uh, more of that technology then coming to New Mexico at UNM? Can well, yeah, I, I mean, as I said, UNM is just this, this really great research center. And so they're developing this stuff here. Now they cooperate with other people. For instance, uh, uh, Vittorio, he he's collaborated with people at, at MD Anderson uh, in Houston. So, but he's been working on this for a while. Very fascinating. And I know you're going to be doing a lot of stories about the healthcare exchange and all of that that's coming down the line and, and 
we're going to have you back to oh, cover this I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, many times because yeah. uh, this is this is going to be a big, big deal. Yeah, it's huge. It's good to see you again, Dennis. Thank yeah. you for being on the show. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for having waking me. up early. To, yeah. to do. <laughs>